Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Kim and this is Kim's Beauty Basics. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing one of those I followed a beauty guru's makeup tutorial and today I chose Sandra Deluxe. She's Canadian, I'm Canadian, I thought it made sense. Not maybe one of the biggest YouTubers, but she's, I mean, she's a big YouTuber. She has almost 900,000 subscribers and I just really like her makeup artistry itself. I think she does really great looks. She doesn't spend as much time on YouTube but does a lot on Instagram and kind of stuff like that and collaborations with brands and hopefully together we'll both learn something and we'll see how this goes it could be a disaster or maybe my makeup will turn out amazing so we'll see <laughs> either way if you end up liking this video don't forget to hit that like button it helps me out so much and also if you end up liking me and my content I would love it if you hit that subscribe button as well and if you want to hit that bell notification then you can get um, notifications whenever I post so without further ado let's get right into this video and we'll see how this goes So today we are going to be following a tutorial from Sandra Deluxe. It's actually a two-part tutorial. The first part is just her foundation and like base and her contouring, bronzing, that kind of thing. And then the second one goes into the very dramatic winged liner and then lips. So first up is priming and she doesn't use a primer. She actually uses Gleam by Melanie Mills, which is like a blurring primer slash luminizing lotion. So mixed together, I'm gonna to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. Um, and then I'm also using the Bourjois Sculpt Light Illuminator Strobing. So I'm just putting this on the back of my hand. I ended up doing one pump of the Smashbox and then two of the Bourjois because the Bourjois is a little bit more of like a lotiony texture. It looks a little bit closer to what the Gleam by Melanie Mose looks like. So that's why I did that. All right, so we're just taking it off the back of my hand and just putting it basically yeah, she does it everywhere, even like over the eyes. Okay, so now that we look like a strobing disco ball, her next step, she puts on the NYX tinted primer in this really dark shade. So I'm a little confused what we're doing here. She's almost using this tinted moisturizer as a primer. The closest thing I have is this Amuse Cosmetics matte finish foundation, kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It's very light and it's definitely really, really dark for me. It does say matte, but it's not too matte. I'm just gonna go right in and put it on my hands because again, she's putting on this layer with just just her hands and she's going all over her face so we're gonna try this I don't know what we're doing I don't know what's happening it's adding a lot of color I did try to self tan a lot before this video because I knew that she did her foundation and her base like quite dark okay so next step it looks like she's applying a foundation that's closer to her actual skin tone now again she's using her hands so for foundation she went in with the Mac Pro Longwear. so what I decided to use is the Maybelline Superstay foundation I have not applied a foundation with my fingers I don't even know like I spot conceal with my fingers but all over the face like oh this feels weird but I will say that the base that we put down feels super smooth. Like my skin feels really soft and smooth. She just goes in with this foundation. So we are going down her neck. Okay, so foundation is on. It really does look seamless in person. It just feels like we do have a lot of makeup on, but when I touch my skin, like actually touch it, my skin feels really nice. Okay, so next she goes in with a concealer and it's the Anastasia of Beverly Hills concealer, which I had to look up because I had no idea what that was. It's a potted cream concealer. She's not really using it as a concealer, it's more of adding it to add some lightness to her face. So I grabbed the only cream concealer that I have. This one is from MAC. I don't even know what this is called. I think this is the NC25. First she does underneath her eyes. And again, she's going in with her finger. So that is what I am doing. Like she said, only use a little bit, but it looks like she's making like a very large V down here. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Doing it to her chin as well. She could keep it still. She's going in with her Studio Finish Concealer, which I think this is what this is. So we're kind of using the right thing. She just put it on her forehead. She also did go, go under the nose, which, which makes sense for me because you do get redness around the nose. Her second concealer was the one that we were just using, the Studio Fix Concealer, because I don't have another potted concealer that's light. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna put, I should put a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with that. And this is over another concealer, keep in mind. So like, it seems like a lot of concealer to me. So I'm gonna go in and blend that in with my finger, which is gonna take forever. Okay, so we've added our concealers. She goes in with a Skin Finish by MAC with a kind of large fluffy brush. I'm gonna use my Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm just gonna put a ton on there because it looks like she really went in there. 
tapping off the excess and she said it doesn't need to be very precise so just go all over the top parts of your cheek and she said down the bridge of her nose cupid's bow she went over the middle of her forehead she does go in with the anastasia of beverly hills contour kit and uses the light shades we go in with this yellow highlighting powder and the peach one we're gonna mix them kind of on a beauty blender that's a little bit stiffer and has a nice flat angle to get under the eye we're just gonna go underneath the eye and set it doesn't look like she's using a ton of product i'll do a little bit on my forehead down the bridge of my nose a bit and then it looks like she did her chin i think that's good all right so it looks like next she's going in with her bronzer the shade she goes in with is pretty warm so i'm going to use the shade from anastasia beverly hills contour kit i'm debating between going between maybe these two it looks like she's doing a very rough bronze which she says can also work as like a light contour but she looks like she went in with quite a bit. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing and I'm using the shade first, that warmer bronzy shade. And if we need to go in with a cooler shade to tone it down a bit, then I will. And then jawline. And I think she brought it down her neck because she said her foundation was a bit dark or something. I don't know. She is going down the nose as well. I'm gonna try to do that with a fluffy brush, even though it's like really big, but she seems to be doing that. So I wanna copy that. I'm gonna go in with that cooler shade and just like tone down a little bit of this like crazy redness that we got going on. Okay, so next she goes in with a contour shade. So this time we'll use a cool shade. I'll use the same shade we just went in with. I have this like Smashbox contouring brush which I like for the nose because it's nice and small. But anyway she went in basically and just went into this area here and bringing it down the nose. This is an awesome area just to like snatch your nose. It, it really does work well. Next is brows and she is using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I don't have that. I'm gonna be using the NYX Eyebrow Gel. Her brows are totally different than mine, like way, way different than mine. Hers don't have this bottom part. It just basically goes up. I can't do that. So first she goes in and does a bottom line. So this is a gel and I'm using a angled brush actually from Benefit, which has a spoolie on the other end. So I'm just gonna brush my hairs up. So first she does a bottom line here. So I'm really just gonna try my best not to bring it down too much, but obviously like I have to follow the outer corner of my, my brows. It looks like then she does a really, really light line with that whatever product is left on the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And now I'm just making like individual brow hairs or trying to. For top hairs that she's filling in, she goes down. So I think that's good for that brow and I'm gonna do the other brow off camera. I will be right back. The brows are on guys. Next step I've been really confused about but she sets her eyebrows with the bronzer that she used. So we're gonna go in with that shade, the warmer shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, go in with our bronzer brush, and she just lightly goes over her brows. She says it softens them up and sets them. I don't know. Next she goes in with concealer under the eye and she mixes her Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer that she used with the MAC one. So I'm gonna use the MAC one mixed with a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape. And then we're just gonna go in under the eye she kept it pretty close to, oh no, she kind of went all the way to the nose. So she went all the way kind of to the nose with this concealer and then she blended it. She does do the same thing on the top, so I will do that even though normally I don't put any concealer on the top of my brows. Girl loves her bronzer, so we're going back in with the bronzer and just taking that bronzy shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills part and then just blending in over the top of the brows so that we don't have any harsh lines. Finishing off, she uses a setting gel from MAC. I don't have that, but I do have the Benefit Gimme Brow, which does add a little bit of color, so I'm gonna be super light-handed with it, but basically she's just using it to 
tame her hair, so I'm gonna try to do that. Today she's doing a super dramatic winged liner with nothing underneath, so it'll be bare. The first things first, she draws out a little like stencil line for the wing liner to follow. I don't have any black gel liner because I don't like to use that, but I do have my brown Cubrow from Benefit. We're gonna cover it with our like liquid liner. So it looks like she just drew, this is gonna work. We're gonna try this on camera. It's not gonna be exactly the same. It definitely took forever to achieve this liner. Is it exactly like hers? No, not even a little bit. Her eye slants a lot more up. Randomly, she skips to lips. I'm gonna go in with that NYX Wonder Pencil again and just like draw in the lips, I guess? Just in the center, and to, it's to make it more bold, but I don't know what that means. My pinky liner, I don't know where it is, so I don't know. Can't do the outside with liner, but I'm just gonna go in with a liquid lip. Um, she uses a NYX product. I'm gonna use my Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Perla, which I think is similar to the pinky that she's using, and she just goes pretty much all over the lips with the lip cream over top of the liner. This might be too opaque. Oh well. I'm going in with my, the concealer we used from MAC, the cream one, and we're just gonna pat that on the center of the lip. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't really look the same. So she says she just goes right in with two pairs of MAC lashes. These are the Goddess Lashes from Tarte. Ignore the Ardell thing. Okay, so lashes are applied. I mean, I think it looks similar. It's not exactly the same. Anyway, she goes in now with mascara and she just goes on the top lashes. Feels weird. I'm trying to like grab your little lashes underneath, but okay. All right guys, so that is the look. We have our winged liner. It is not exactly like hers, but it is something. I do also really like the skin. I think it turned out really well. I'm really surprised how glowy and like seamless it looks. I mean, it is very full coverage, but even up close, it doesn't look as cakey as I thought it was gonna look. I do like how everything turned out. Obviously brows, I'm never going to have brows quite like her unless I shaved off the ends of mine. The liner, definitely recommend having a gel liner because, girl, you need to you need to carve it out first because that was really difficult for me. I was very skeptical on doing the highlight first, but it ended up giving it like a natural glow and then doing that concealer on top and everything, just, it really... It really is seamless guys. I'm really surprised. It also like is not really caking up and making creases, which I kind of thought it would do. So I kind of love this foundation routine and I think I might copy it when I want like a full glam look. I really do like it. So thanks to Sandra Deluxe because I really did enjoy following that tutorial and I think she is absolutely drop dead gorgeous and I really enjoy her tutorials. That's pretty much it for me and I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and I hope to see you very very soon in my next video.